Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss a particular topic of algebra, that is the factorization. So today we are going to discuss two topics. One is what is the factor of an algebraic expression, and secondly, how to factorize an expression of type a x square plus b x plus c. That means a second degree equation. How we can find out the factors. So let us concentrate on the first thing. What do you mean by a factor of an algebraic expression so before discussing that i am starting with the concept factor what is a factor of a number let us concentrate a number 24 okay so what are its factors 24 can be written as 24 into 1 similarly it can be written as 2 into 12 similarly it can be written as 8 into 3 it can also be written as 4 into 6 so all the numbers which can divide 24 are the factors of 24 that means 4 is a factor 6 is a factor 8 3 2 12 14 sorry 24 and 1 all these numbers can divide 24 so all the set of numbers they can divide 24 so these all numbers are factors of 24 so similarly an expression let us consider about an expression so let us write an expression as ax square plus bx plus c this is a quadratic equation that means the second degree equation highest power is 2 so what will be its factors its factors will be those expressions which can divide it expressions which can divide x square plus bx plus c okay for example let us take an example of the equation x square minus 2x plus 1 okay this is all also a second degree equation okay so what are its factors so you can understand it can be written as x into x whole square minus 2 into x into 1 plus 1 whole square one has been written as one whole square so this is a minus b whole square type expression so it can be written as x minus 1 whole square so basically there are two expressions one is x minus 1 another is x minus 1 both things when they are multiplied they are giving me the final expression as x square minus 2x plus 1 so x minus 1 is one factor and this x minus 1 is also another factor okay now similarly we have we can find out what are the different factorization methods of an expression when we consider different types of quadratic equations let us discuss that and how we will be able to find out the factors of an expression the process of finding factors is called factorization let us consider another equation x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to whatever let the expression be x square minus 5x plus 6 so i have to find out what are the two expressions which can divide it that is x square minus 5x plus 6 so i can do it in two methods one is that i can express it that is express the equation not equation express this expression by difference of two squares and secondly middle term factor okay so first i concentrate on the express the by the difference of two squares what is the method then i will be coming to middle term factor so for this expression before i will be discussing one particular expression of a square minus b square there is a standard formula for a square minus b square so it can be written as a minus b into a plus b this is also an expression consisting of 
difference of two variables the square difference of square of two variables two variable is a and b their square are a square and b square so a square minus b square can be written as a minus b into a plus b so here our target will be expressing this particular expression such a difference of two squares so let us concentrate on that part let me write it as x whole square minus 2 into 5 by 2 into x that means it will be same as 5x plus 6 will be same at the same time I am adding 5 by 2 whole square and to neutralize I have to subtract 5 by 2 whole square as well. So the actual expression remains same but I have added 5 by 2 whole square and subtracted 5 by 2 whole square from this expression. So what is that? I am taking this one, this one and this one to form a square expression. What is that? That is x minus 5 by 2 whole square and rest expression is what? Plus 6 minus 25 by 4 right so it can be written as x minus 5 by 2 whole square minus 1 by 4 if you just do a subtraction of fractions you will be getting it as minus 1 by 4 which is nothing but x minus 5 by 2 whole square minus half whole square so i am able to express the entire expression now by the <coughs> by the difference of two square expressions this is a and this is b so what is the final thing i will be getting that is a minus b into a plus b that is x minus 5 by 2 minus half and x minus 5 by 2 plus half right so if i write it here it is simply x minus 3 into x minus 2. So this is the first method to express an equation, expression, expression by difference of two squares. Now I will be discussing the second method. What is that? That is a middle term factor. What is a middle term factor? middle term factor. I am concentrating on the same expression. x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to the expression that we have. Now, here middle term means this term. This is the first term, this is the second term and this is the middle term. Okay. Now, x square can be written as x square into 1. In terms of algebra, 1 will be called the coefficient of x square. In terms of algebra, minus 5 will be called as the coefficient of x. And the last term is a constant. Okay. Now, 5, I have to find out how I can separate 5 so that I can find out two factors. So, for that purpose, I have to depend on the last part. What is that? That is 6. That is the constant portion. So, how come it can be written as? It can be written as 6 into 1. It also can be written as 2 into 3. Now, I have to now uh, decide that if I place 6 into 1. Yeah, 6 minus 1 can be written as 5. But, if I write this expression as x square minus 6x plus x plus 6, then only the original expression will be same as it is. I cannot factorize because if I take common x from here, then it will be x minus 6. At the same time, it will be x plus 6. So the factorization will not happen. So what is the only way out? The only way out here is 6 can be written as 2 into 3, right? So, I can write this expression as x square minus 3x plus 2x. That is 5, I have separated it as 3 plus 2 
plus 6. Why? Because if I remove the bracket now, it will be x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6. If I take common x from the first two, then it will be x minus 3. If I take common minus 2 from the last two expressions, that is minus 2x plus 6, then it will be x minus 3. So x minus 3 is common and it can be written as x minus 2. So the answer is same which I have shown you by the previous method. That is when I was expressing the entire expression by the difference of two squares. The output is same. So x minus 3 is a factor of the expression x square minus 5x plus c. And similarly x minus 2 is also another factor of this. So this is called the middle term factor. In the next video I will show you the detailed process of middle term factor, some complex middle term factorization. And uh, discuss what are the other ways we can do factorization. So if you like this video I will request everyone to watch my video and give your comments and like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.